Dude, I like this game a lot. Ooh. I gotta say, I actually, I, I like genuinely really, really like this game. I, you know. This is my favorite game we played. That is a huge surprise to me. A very really? huge surprise, yeah. No, I, I really like this. Like, it's like, because I, I, I think like the game is like very ridiculous and that's why I like it. You know, there's like issues here and there, but uh, I think that like Ace Attorney is like much more smart than really than, and of course I like Pikmin personally, but you did play Pikmin, so. Mm -hmm. No, th this game is, uh, I like that it's, I like, I, I, I really enjoy things where people just throw everything they got at it. Yeah. And I like that, I, I don't know, I like the way this is structured and yeah. the pacing of it. Okay. And you know, it's just like I like the concept. Like I can't I can't stop thinking about how good this would be as a show. Yeah. This would be uh, such yeah. a good show. Like this would take over the planet, dude. Oh definitely. Hey, welcome back to uh, Jacob Alba. Last time we lost you here and Mondo. Yeah. What a Rip. shame. Mondo. Uh now I'm rooting for Kyoko. And Taka. Kyoko Taka? Okay. Yep, that's yeah. who I'm rooting for. Oh, okay, with his new voice. Unbelievable. The bias from this guy. Well, yeah. It, I mean, I, I guess possibly. Yeah. But no, but, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, Hufumi's a bad guy, though. Yes, I, I yeah. know Hufumi's a bad guy. I'm gonna go I, with, I fucking called it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with the free time events, uh, Jihiro's and Mondo's. Uh, because, because I actually like these okay. as well. Uh, Jihiro. Uh, he goes over his inferiority complex and how he is basically useless here. But Koda tells him that he can help us in ways that involve computers. He goes also, uh, he also goes into why he became a programmer. It's because he was too weak to hang out with his friends and began messing around with the computer. And he liked it. He created a voice recognition program and, uh, his dad, who was a software engineer, found out he was using his computer. But instead of getting mad, he was impressed by it. And now he is working on a form of AI mixed with his first program. Uh, finally, he asks if there's any guy here that has that is strong enough that he can train with to get over his weak complex. And Makoto suggests Mondo to hang out with. So, like, if you did your if you did Chihiro's free time events and you see like Mondo recommend, hey, you go hang out with Mondo. Uh, Makoto, Makoto recommend. So Makoto is kind of responsible. Yeah, you would feel responsible for Chihiro's mm. death. I was hoping that you would like go through with that, but you didn't spend any time with him at all. Damn. Uh, Mondo. Uh, yeah. There's going to be a bit of repeats as we did. Uh, he talks about how important his, uh, his gang means to him, and he wants Makoto to join him when they get out of here. Mondo is honorable, as he would never hurt a girl, he always, and he listens to his mother. He gets into he gets very nervous when he gets into a fight. Right now, he's zero and ten in fights. Uh, he has a nervous tick that when he gets nervous, he starts yelling and threatening people because he is not confident in himself. Mm. Mondo is very sympathetic when it comes to people losing things they love, and tells a story about how his dog died. He did get embarrassed when people see him to be emotional and weak. Uh, he feels as if th uh, there was too much stress with being a biker leader, uh, such as there was other gangs trying to kill him and running for the cops. But he doesn't want to lose the gang. He is scared that he would lose them. So when everyone in the gang graduates, he's going to get a job as a carpenter. <laughs> so that's, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> Alright, let's begin. This is me, actually. <laughs> I know I shouldn't cry, but I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon, it's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. Now cheer me up. Glazed donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled donut holes, malasadas, malasadas. I believe that's never heard of okay. them. Oh god of donuts! I'm prayed for a wonderful, wonderful encounter. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. Right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Huh? 
Huh? What's that sound? Hmm. Sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. Is someone trying to connect to AOL? <laughs> I'm super scared, but is is someone there? <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial! Everyone met up in the dining hall, just like always, and I expected it to start like any other day. That's when I oh that's what I expected, bored. <sighs> Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Doku and Bianca is still refused to show up. Uh... And I haven't seen Miss Asahina anywhere. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. That is rather unusual for her. Only she is so full of energy. Mm. Which is what exactly what makes me mur murry. <laughs> makes me, me murder. Make me worry. So then. So it's just the seven of us then. It looks that way. How about that? There's times like this where we end with a committee chairman needs to get things going with a bane. Impossible. Or not. Like it hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at its face showed he hadn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. Two of them had become so close. And he finds out that Mondo killed Chihiro. And then... Having to watch Mondo get... Punished? And nothing he could do about it? I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well... So... I mean... What's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. It's like, now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. We simply have to make the best of things, do their best to get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world, except this new life. It is the only hope we have now. Or to live here together forever? Well. Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, and every need to see too. Why are you dissatisfied? In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long for? Okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence? As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... Demon Angel! Pretty pudgy princess. Huh? Hmm? Here we go. Maggie, the drill shop owner, the bunny eared Amazon, cat girl, dog boy, robo justice, the galactic king, and. And. What I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is nothing the Master Ray puts it such base desire at advantage, bending you to the veil. You know? Okay, well, anyway. This talk is like catatonic. As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're gonna all work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right. Well, right? I mean, since the class trial is over and all, perhaps there should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, this the ticket. Maybe we should we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well then. Then once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problem with that, Celeste? <laughs> <laughs> it may be a, dis be a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our lives here. Um, no, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me until I appeared. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Ah, nobody called for you. Uh, oh. What the? Uh, how come it's, it's a Jill and not Tilko? Yes! So, uh, there's a reason why I was like, good luck with this character <laughs> when you picked her. Because you got a voice that Jill and Jill as well. <clears throat> okay, let me yeah. find this real quick. Yeah. It's very uh, chaotic, hyperactive, uh... Uh, doesn't even care about anything. 
God, this oh, place is just amazing. Finally a place I can just be my murderous self. <laughs> Which is why I've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. Mm, plus I have another battle to fight. <laughs> Killer with a split personality thing is so over. I gotta destroy that stereotype. You I'll fight all day and all night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, uh, but you are a killer with a split personality. Yeah. If she weren't here, my chances of survival would be would go up at least ten percent. Uh -huh. Come on, me. You gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on the empty stomach. You're right. Let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> So she's just gonna be genocide Jill the rest of the game. Uh, no, she goes back and forth. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <coughs> it's just that genocide Jill is more comfortable of like showing, you know, appearing. So we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer, and after it's much needed, a uh, much needed but a very annoying meal, we set to work looking around the school. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. All right. Uh, bubble, bubble, bub. The mic is in the way, I swear to god. I can't do- I can't play the game. It's impossible to play the game, dude. <laughs> because of such inconveniences. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I believe it's quite close, actually. Where is it? I thought it was close. Yeah, it's right here. Mm, mm. The third floor of Hope Speak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? <laughs> Billiards. Billiards. Hmm. So this is a uh, recreation room, a uh, place for students to come and relax. I would never have imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> They have no normal skilled word. It is a fellow's shaggy, even a dartboard, and a pool table. And look at this. They've even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Bring me in! Hello there! Allow me to expound! We've got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines! Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school, after all. If we need, if you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit mags. So then. And will you be adding to a collection as new issues come out? Sorry! No can do! Even if I wanted to, I mean, no, magazines are kind of... Uh, kind of what? Watch out! Oops! I don't think that's my little one. Anyway, that's it for my foundation! Bye-bye! <laughs> Uh, the teacher said. I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. I feel it would be much more nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How uh, disappointing. Really? Really? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Billiards is a underrated game, you know? It oh, it's fun. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't watch professional billiards, but, you know? Bro, they're so good. Yeah, it's it, it, they're it's unbelievable. I I think like it's become kind of boring how good they are. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Like the the fact they understand like the speed and the location to hit the ball to make it go exactly yeah. where it needs to go, and they know the spin will hit the ball at the right time to not. It's incredible. Yeah. So like, if you're too perfect at the game, it kind of makes it, like there's not an yeah. element of randomness. Make it yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> so the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. 
Tip tap, dibbity dab dab. Boop bop, dibbity dab dab. First glance, this looks like any normal art room. I'm gonna fucking go. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, but, uh, uh, but something about this seems off. Uh, I'm working with some things. <laughs> Hello, Ify. Mm -hmm. Well, well. Look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Mm -hmm. Art supplies, of course, but they've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. Sculpting tools? So he fumed me. Do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Charon, Charimbo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Ronpungi makes. Cherimbo's ability to express the movements of muscles is exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. A pumpkin head is like a little sculptor fairy representing the century's greatest quality. Saburo Ranpogi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Masume series, which leads to a worldwide tour, which led to a worldwide tour. Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing. Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. <laughs> Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> it begins. Today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. Fuck. Look in here and you find... This is the repository. Uh, the repository? Ooh. The, the, uh, I mean, it's a repository. A repository, it's a repository. Right, right, right. That's attached to the art room. It's used to store different artsy things. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. As I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if it, oh, uh, on its own, oh, my hand froze. Oh? Fuck. What I saw in that picture was Jahiro, Leon, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling? What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? <laughs> why do I have a fucking. Why do I broke Kaidus? What are they doing together? How come they're smiling like that? When was this taken? Who took it? What was the camera they used? How did they get it developed? Uh, uh, why am I th thinking that they had developed the picture in fucking 2010? Mm -hmm. And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak? But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... Give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched a photo, and any chance I had at answers evaporated. Ha! You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that they were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped the page right out of the book of you. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? I'm not telling you nothing! Why can't you give me a straight answer? <laughs> Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered that skin. Ooh, what's your theory behind that? Ooh. Fabricated image by um, Ifumi, because he's behind everything. Yeah. And I'm fucking right, and I fucking know it. Photo chop it. Try, he's trying to, you know, he he's trying to, you know, excite, make things more exciting. Yeah. Trying to make make it seem like, you know, that was taken before, but it fucking wasn't. This is the physics lab. Less like a classroom and more like a kind of research institute. <laughs> Hi, Taka. Hey, Taka! Don't you think this place is like some, like some kind of research institute? Ah, uh, still no reaction. Oh, this is... It's a digital camera. It's got a kind of weird anime-style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns out just fine. Yep, it still works. 
I'll show the others later. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Oh, what? What? You want to do some quantum leaping? Huh? Phew. That's a time machine! A pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist. Although, they don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy! <laughs> A, a time machine? I've totally lost his voice. Hold on. Mm. Oh, he's very much traumatized. So. Oh yeah, you're right. Hold on. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just lean into it. Seriously? So, it can go back in time? Okay then. Let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can. This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! <laughs> oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, um, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. One minute? Hmm, you sound disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as time machines! What? Hey! Honestly, um... it's just an air purifier. Air purifier? We can produce clean air no matter where you at. With that thing, you can even live on Mars. But what, what, what with the discombobulating gravity and the deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? This air machine is the reason you guys all have this delicious air. <laughs> don't, don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt. It's the huge thing is just an air purifier. And more than that. Girl, you wait to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering? God damn you! Nice! I got a coin! This is the equipment room? It's super disorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. <laughs> this place is so <laughs> coming. <laughs> the smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. <laughs> it's so tempting. <laughs> I want to just dunk myself right in it. Because Genocide Jack likes it. Let's just go show how disgusting it really is. <laughs> I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange. But I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall, and I talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head back to the dining hall. God damn it, I'm done southern every time. <laughs> when I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Uh. Hina! I tried to talk to her, but... My voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Huh? huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts! Mm. But was it your stomach that was hurting? Well, well my stomach ate kind of made me hungry, so... You know, <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Mm. Miss Ahai, Sahina's mm. pretty much the same, it looks like. <laughs> hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well, anyway, I was worried about you. You. <laughs> Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince him to double up on milk production? Stay away from her, fiend. Uh, um, anyway, uh, first things first, we, we should talk about what we found. All right, Tucker? Hmm. All right, uh. All right, Taka, give me some intro. It's no use. Hmm. Huh. 
Oh, I just remembered. I saw Biakuya a little <coughs> while ago. What? Where? Where was he? You kind of scaring me. Where? What? It was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books. He must have got it from the library. No, 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 no. So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. Huh? Just ran off. Is, is she okay? We <laughs> should have put the sensor there. Correct. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? huh? What's something like that doing here? Mm. Is the device really that big? Mm. I really don't get it. Oh. Oh. So, um... um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't have to be a donut-related discovery. Did it? Did it? Did it? What does that even mean? What's uh, never mind. It, it's about the nurse's office. Remember the ones on the, the one that's on the first floor, right? Well, I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Mm. I did look, but no dice. There's a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. That's disappointing. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. And that shit is that disappointing. I searched the entire third floor, but all of the windows and the halls and rooms were blocked off. She's just giving a rest already, for serious! Give me back my bright, bright blue skies! <laughs> just forget about it. Impossible. Make it look sound like I dropped a nickel or something. Huh. Just to be sure, I went from one end to, another, uh, to the other, testing each metal plate. None of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. I see. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There so happens to be a deck room up on the third floor. I have no doubt that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> will someone join me in the game of Othello sometime? Fear me! Mm -hmm. There was an art room on the third floor and it had all kinds of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to search. Uh, now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. <laughs> Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I I, I found something when I was while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm. A digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well, let's see it. What the heck? This thing's like a kid's toy. It looks like you like store like five pictures, maybe. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well. On top of that, it's, it seems questionable. He has this some kind of anime character. Strange. No, Rude! She's not strange, she's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess! Oh, you recognize this, you feel me? Of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah. Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation! Where did you find it? In the physics lab. <laughs> it's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I, I lost it the first day, along with my phone. Let's see. Right, but it definitely appeared in the physics lab. However... Hmm, but look at it. What? It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a secondhand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it? It's not mint condition. I don't need it anymore. But were you just saying how much it meant to you? 
When may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you like would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. <coughs> well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Okay, I've heard everyone what everyone has to say. Now it's my turn. Um, can I guys tell you something? Can, can I tell you guys something? I thought something that's kind of been uh bothering me, and I'll show it to you guys in the next episode. So, remember watching this episode, take a bite, make sure like, and make sure like, and subscribe, and pop up every time we upload, which is every single day. Goodbye, you dumb fuck. <laughs>